Hey everybody, this is a quick video where I'm going to show you the updates that Blender has done to NDOF devices such as 3D Connection Space Mice in the settings. So if you go in Blender and then you go to Edit Preferences, Input, and then Expand NDOF. And in here you're going to see a few things. Their defaults are a little bit weird and I'm not a big fan of them. Luckily at least they finally gave us the option to make him proper within Blender without having to go through the 3D connection settings and change things around. Right, so this is how I keep my settings. So I have pan sensitivity to 4 and orbit sensitivity to 4. I make it a little bit more sensitive just so we can move things around easier. Dead zone is 0. There's no reason for us to start and stop in one direction without wishing to rotate. For me that's actually the beauty of using a 3D connection device. A navigation is free and then rotation is turntable so we want to always keep a turntable and in fact turntable trackball that keeps the z-axis locked or not locked so for architecture it makes sense for the z-axis to be locked and for navigation so free and orbit that depends on how you rotate around if you choose orbit you move around an object and it's a little bit easier to rotate you put in a little bit less force whereas if you're in free mode then you have to put a bit more force and that's really up for to your preference I would suggest you try both of them to see which one works better and then all the other ones so show navigation that's also up to you whether you want to see which point it uses to navigate we want to uncheck invert zoom and we want to uncheck all the defaults of invert axis pan and invert axis orbit and let me just show you what my 3D settings look like on the actual device. So 3D connection properties. So if we go to advanced settings, you see none of them are reversed. So there was a point, I think it was maybe with Blender 2.81 or 2.82 where I had to go in these settings and reverse all of them because even though Blender changed the inversion of these, there wasn't a place in the user interface with the smaller models to adjust that. They've since added all the menus that you can find within here. So that's it. That hopefully gives you an idea of how to set up your 3D connection device so it works most optimally for your scenes. Thank you for watching and please like this video if you think it's useful for you and if you don't dislike it and I'll see you next time.